G'day Internet, Kale from Workado here to walk you through integrating an external secrets manager like AWS Secrets Manager with your connections in Workado. Now, let's start with why you might want to do this. If you're responsible for security at your organization, you've encountered the problem of secret sprawl. It means your organization's secrets, passwords, encryption keys, API keys, access credentials of all kinds are spread out all over the place entered in the UIs of dozens of apps, in config files, as variables in your container environments. And the more sprawled your secrets are, the harder it is to apply a security policy. You want to rotate all your passwords? Well, first you got to remember where they are. And worse, you end up with old forgotten secrets floating around that can become points of vulnerability for an attacker. Now, one of the main methods for combating secret sprawl is to use a secrets manager like AWS Secrets Manager to control all your secrets and how they're accessed. You get a few big benefits from this. Firstly, you minimize sharing of the credentials themselves. You store them only in the secrets manager and you just share a reference to them. It helps you avoid all those things people know they shouldn't do, but do anyway, like emailing passwords around. And two, by centralizing all your secrets, you always know where they are and who is accessing them. And you can revoke access whenever you need to. And finally, you get control. With all your secrets in one place, applying, say, a rotation policy becomes very simple and non-disruptive. No need to go around all your config files and apps to update your secrets. Now, all of these benefits are even more relevant when it comes to automation. Think about all the sensitive information that passes through your automation platform and all the connections you need to create to make that happen uh, across your HR platform, your payments, or your customer PII. If you're looking to centralize your secrets management, your automation platform is going to be one of your top priorities. And that's why you can now use AWS Secrets Manager to store and manage all the credentials and secrets that you need to set up connections in Workado. Let me show you how. Let's start with this simple recipe. I have this recipe that syncs orders from a MySQL database over to Snowflake. And to get this done, I need access to my database and I need to be able to write to Snowflake. So. For now, let's just look at our MySQL database. And you can see that I need to provide, among other things, uh, a username and a password to make this connection work. Now, I can store any of these things as a secret in AWS Secrets Manager, but for this demo, let's just take the password itself. I'm going to show you how I can connect to the database without ever actually entering this password or even knowing it. To start with, let's actually create the secret itself in AWS Secrets Manager. I'm here in the main screen. Let's just store a new secret. I have a bunch of types I can choose. I'm going to choose other type of secret, which just lets me store key value pairs. So I'm going to call this MySQL integration user password. And obviously don't let anybody see your real passwords. Uh, I'll click next. I'll give it a name, prod. And I could set up an automatic rotation policy here, but for now, I'll just click Next and store the secret. And here's my secret already to be used. So now we need to set up Workado so that our workspace has access to this secret. You need to be the workspace owner to do this part. So we'll go to Settings, Secrets Management. Under which Secrets Manager do you want to use? Select AWS Secrets Manager. And we'll get this AWS account ID and an external ID, which we will need later. But for now, we need to create the policy and role that will give Workado access to our secrets. And we do this from the Identity and Access Management or IAM dashboard. So let's start with the policy. We'll create a policy and you can edit these policies as raw JSON if you know what you're doing, but it's easy to use the visual editor. So under the service, we'll select Secrets Manager we need to give access to specific actions. So here we need the describe secret action and we need the get secret value action. We also need to provide access to specific resources. I can choose to give access to all resources, which will give all the secrets I'm storing, but it's better and more secure to give access to specific secrets that you want to share. And we do that by taking the ARN here, which is a unique identifier for the secret and adding it to our policy. Okay, we don't need to tag this. We do need to give it a name. So we're gonna call this Wakato Secrets Manager Policy. 
and we can create it. Okay, so here's our policy. We now need to create a role uh, that we can apply this policy to. So we'll go to roles and create a new role. Now we're going to select an AWS account as the trusted entity type, and we'll choose another AWS account. And what we need to get here is this AWS account ID that you have in the Wakato dashboard here. So we'll copy that in. And when we say require external ID, once again, we can grab the external ID here and paste it in. Check next. Okay, so now we need to add some policies to this role and we can choose the policy that we've just created. And we need a name for the role. And we will be able to create it. Okay, now the final thing we need to do is grab the ARN of this role and add it to the Wakata dashboard here to complete the trust relationship. Now that we've set ourselves up to share our secrets from AWS Secrets Manager in Wakata, let's show how we can apply this secret to a specific connection. And it's pretty simple. We go to just where we would normally put the password in and we need to put in a reference to our secret. And there's a format that it's stored in and it looks like this. Wakato SM for Secrets Manager and then the key name and the secret ARN. So if we look back in Secrets Manager, we can find, we can remember that we've got MySQL underscore IU underscore password is our key name. So I can replace this. And we can grab our secrets ARN again. Place this here. Okay, and this is what the reference to the secret will look like. So now I can hit connect and we have a successful connection. So let's run a quick test to make sure that this has worked. Okay, and we're successfully reading from our database despite the fact that we never directly entered our database password into Wakato. Now, if I was somebody else who hadn't actually initially set up this secret, all I actually need to know is that reference to the secret. I don't need to know the actual password at all. Now, one of the reasons that we manage secrets this way is to be able to easily revoke access to a secret at any time from a centralized location. So let's see how that works. In our IAM dashboard again, we'll go back to our Wakato Secrets Manager policy. Now, in the meantime, I've added a couple of extra secrets to this policy so you can see what a more mature version would look like. I've got three in here. If I want to revoke access to all the secrets I'm storing for Wakato, I could just delete this policy altogether. But if I want to be a little bit more targeted about it, I can edit the policy. And I just need to find the resource that gives access to my MySQL database. And you can see it here, prod MySQL orders, and remove it from the policy, and save. Now, any change I make here is going to take effect in Wakato inside one hour, but if I need it to happen sooner, I can manually disconnect my connection here. Or if I'd updated the secret instead of revoking access, I could disconnect and reconnect the connection just to refresh the secret. So now that we've updated the policy that controls access to our secrets, let's run this test again and see what happens. You'll see that the test fails because we're no longer connected to MySQL. Even though we've made no changes in the Wakato UI, we've revoked access to the secret that we needed to make this connection work. So by integrating Wakato with AWS Secrets Manager, you're able to centralize management of your passwords and other secrets in one place. You can update or revoke access to any secret at any time and rotate them as you need to without making any changes in the Wakato UI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.